In this video, I'll show you how to tune a 30S1 Collins amplifier. We've got a S3 line here and a watt meter, and uh, amp is on uh, 80 meters in CW mode. And I wanted to talk to you about the multimeter. I'm going to go through and look at the checks. Filament voltage should be 6. If it's not, you can turn the high voltage off, open up the key, and adjust it. This back, make sure it's locked, and turn the voltage back on. Bias voltage is just going to show you what it is and that the bias supply is working. The tuning and loading indicator is really a neat uh, option, but they are uh, almost never in calibration. In fact, this particular amplifier, it's not in calibration. Um, the way that you would, you would tune this is uh, CW uh, key, it, key it down and your target is zero so you uh, adjust the tune and loading until you get to z back to zero um, if you do that on this one and any other one that I've ever uh, worked on you you, um, you won't be in tune so that being said you, you can go in there and realign that circuit which is what I'll probably do now um, but I, you know point is don't trust it because what will kill these tubes is screen current. These things are cathode driven. You're rarely going to see any grid current ever. You should never see any grid current. Um, you would have to be grossly overdriving this and totally out of, uh, out of tune to see anything develop. And in my experience, that just really doesn't happen. Uh, screen current is what's actually important here. So on a Tetrode, you want to have this thing full output with zero screen current. Uh, now the, the meter here will go negative screen current and positive screen current. That's why the needle is naturally resting at zero there. You know, it, it's going to wiggle, it's going to move around a little bit, that's fine. It doesn't have to be exactly zero. If it's a little negative, that's okay. If it's a little positive, that's okay also. But you do not want that um, screen current heavy negative or heavy positive. If you do, that's exactly how you uh, pop the tube. And it'll happen really quick. Um, so what I recommend is to keep the multimeter on screen current. And then once you uh, understand how to tune the amplifier, uh, you're basically just going to use the, the, the tune control for maximum output on your watt meter. What that'll do is that'll peak the screen current, and uh, and it'll coincide exactly with the uh, with the output power. So once that's done, you're, you're in resonance. Then the loading control over there is now going to uh, allow you to get the screen current to zero. And so you're going to move the loading control up and back until you get right around zero. You'll notice that that's uh, just about the maximum output power as well. And then you can go back and touch up the, the tuning control just to make sure that it's, uh, it's peaked. And, uh, and that's it. It's as simple as that. Um, these things get pretty touchy on 20 meters uh, and the higher bands. So if you were, for example, if you were, had the key down, 600 watts, whatever it was, and you grabbed that tune control and you went out of uh, resonance, um, just turned it a little bit too much, it's going to slam that screen current, uh, negative or positive, d depending on which which way you you've turned it, and and, and it can happen right away. So, uh, what what I recommend you doing is uh, keying it down, uh, using the key, and momentarily key it, and wor work fairly quickly um, to get the output power peaked, get the amp in resonance. You'll see that that screen current will peak whether it's low or high or zero. And you just use the loading control to get it back to zero. So let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and key it down here. All right, she's keyed up and uh, I'm pushing the key. Now it's not in resonance. The amplifier's doing about 400 watts, okay? But I just wanted to show you guys, it's pulling negative screen current. You see the meter deflect? Okay, now if I, uh, lock this thing and peak this you see 
that as I turn this, that screen current's peaking, okay? That's what you want, peak in screen current. Now that happens to be about 800 watts of, of CW there. Um, pretty much right at zero. Look, we got a little bit of positive kick of screen, right? Well, that's easy to fix. Key it down again. I come over here and turn the loading control. Look at that. It went right to zero, didn't it? Well, we got about 850 watts of, uh, of output. So now you're, you're sitting here running CW and you notice that uh, eh, it's deflecting a little bit. That's fine. That's the way it works. It's a little positive, but no, no harm, no foul there. You got a 25 watt grid, I think. Uh, this is a 1500 tube in here, but um, that's normal operation. You see, see the plate current meter going on as I, as I tap on the key. Um, that's that's uh, perfectly fine. CW here at eight, 800 something watts. I'll go ahead and unkey it. That's how you should tune this amplifier. It, it will run literally forever if you tune it up that way. Um, now if you want to go to sideband, you would uh, turn this off. Now you got to wait five seconds before you flip this switch. You know, it tells you that in the manual, and that's a, a mistake that some people make is they, they don't understand your, you need to turn the B plus off, wait, flip it up, then you can turn it back on, okay? Um, never switch this hot while the B plus is on. So if you wanted to go to sideband, you just put it in the sideband mode. Um, you know, you put the, the transmitter in sideband. Uh, just speak into the microphone and you're, you're going to see the uh, the screen current move um, uh, all, all over the place. If it's if it's close to being in tune, well, it won't have much deflection. Um, if you if you uh, give it a, a solid tone into the microphone and you see that that screen current is sucking negative uh, down to like 0.2 or something there, well, reach over and uh, now remember, you've already got this in resonance. So when you were tuning it on CW, but you'd go over here to the loading control and while, while you were modulating the uh, transmitter, um, you can turn that load control and it'll go right to zero just like the carrier did. You can also just talk and kind of adjust it. Um, make sure you go back and make sure that this is peaked for maximum output power, you know, on your, on your watt meter there. Uh, and that's it. That, it's as easy as that. Um, you will find that if you get this out of resonance, this screen current will whack over or suck all the way the other way. And again, it will take the tube out in very, very short order on these things. So um, if you get too much plate current over there, well, it'll, it'll trip. And you hope that happens before, uh, before you uh, fry the, the screen or, or hurt the grid of the tube and have it short. So uh, anyways, I hope that's helpful. If I ever get around to actually aligning the tuning and loading, uh, I'll look into that. I'm going to be around this weekend. Uh, maybe I can accomplish that, get that done, and I can make another video showing you how to use it, uh, this function, because it really is neat if, um, if it works and it's aligned. But, you know, again, I've never seen one that, that was aligned properly to coincide with zero screen current. So use the screen current, guys.